What's up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and welcome to Pokemart. We have a lot to cover today, so we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long, and going forward, we'll try to have more frequent videos of one topic a piece. But to start, as always, or uh, this isn't the last time, but we're going to start with Trev Noir, the tag team. Uh, so reminder, this you can only purchase this from a promo box, or if you want to buy it from. Uh, you know, not a secondary market. You can only get it from the promo box for twenty dollars, and for a while it's hovering around like seventeen dollars. Basically, it's down to about eleven on TCG Player, and looks like it, you know you can pick it up for easily under twelve dollars off TCG Player. So we're gonna stop covering this. It's probably where it belongs. Uh, I did see some uh, sealed boxes you could pick up on eBay, but you know at this point it's no longer worth it. So. Trev Noir basically leveled off and eBay seems to follow the same thing. In fact, a lot of them are selling for pretty cheap, under $10. So if you need a Trev Noir, probably now is a great time to do so. Uh, seems like it's still used quite a bit in Expanded. All right, so probably the main topic is going to be, oh, big surprise, Shiny Charizard. This guy has been all over the place, uh, you know, September was like 600. October, when we did a Pokemon, it was around 270. And a good six months later, it has climbed back up. But let's take a quick look at Hidden Fates all together. I find this one very interesting. Umbreon, currently out of stock on TCG Player. What's that about? Let's take a quick look. But yeah, I don't have any filters and there is no stock. And But however, on eBay, it's not like it's super expensive. So these are sold listings for mid-20s. Yes, yeah, some of them are in the 30s or close to 40s, which is interesting. But you can pick them up for easily $25. But it's kind of interesting that there's no more on TCG player. But now to the main card, Shiny Charizard, big surprise. And uh, yeah, so again, October, we had an episode and it hit 270. Six months later, it is back to 300. And reminder, at one point, it got to under 200. And that's where we thought it was going to stay. So back And yes. <laughs> it's happened guys just like we predicted Charizard has hit that $200 mark back to 300 you know plus 50% from not too long ago and uh, so it's kind of interesting uh, let's take a look at eBay if you want to pick one up I think the interesting thing here is there's not too many raw copies and so all right is now the time to sell a shiny Charizard if you have one that actually might be the case and we'll go through uh, kind of, or why that might be and as far as what's available on buy it now we do have a 300 but yeah as you can see there's not too many raw copies a lot of them are graded no, that's a thousand dollars that's silly uh, we'll, we'll get to the graded versions later but you know I feel like not too long ago there were plenty more options and a lot in the 200 seems like the market kind of just absorbed all of them uh, in fact finding one under 300 is basically not available anymore Let's take a look at some sold listings and but yeah all the all the inside 200 seem to have been gobbled up and we have master sets and yeah then we have a bunch of um over 300 which is very interesting uh this is psa 10 still seems to be about 500 yeah this one was six so seven bets off accepted but there are still uh examples of what i'm selling exactly at 500 dollars. so if you want to just skip the grading step and get the psa 10 it seems like it is still possible to pick it up around 500 is a 510 as well but it doesn't seem there's a lot of them. all right but here's the very interesting thing and maybe why it's time to sell it if you did want to sell it you know i'll probably just keep all of mine and eventually grade them is there has been some evidence of a another wave of at least the tins and so last video we kind of talked about this um, currently it's out of stock if you still want to pick some up just drop your email right here I'll put a link down below and if it does come back it does happen with that with game nerds I'm not really sure how the website works but it seems to come back a couple times uh, but basically you can get it for $15 a tin you know MSRP for $20 and so Let's review again. Like, all right, the price went up by 50% uh, over the last, like, what, month or two? And there's another uh, wave of tins coming. And this is just like, all right, I don't think Game Nerds had a secret vault full, full of these. Um, most likely, there's just another wave. Uh, and this just happened to be selling it. And then eventually, we'll see it in Target, Walmart for that $20. So even if you missed it out, you know, don't buy it on secondary market for double the price. 
And uh, yeah, basically right on that topic. Sold listings for Hidden Fate Sealed and ETB's 160 Vest Offer Set. That is mind boggling. That started at uh, what, $50 and now it's going for like 150 maybe. Again, like, yes, this is sold out, but so maybe you can pick up all three for $60 and that's 12 packs all together versus picking up a ETB, which only has 10 and a promo you can pick up for $6 for you know $150 just doesn't make sense or double the price what you could have gotten for game nerds if you bought two of two sets of those and uh, yeah packs but basically the point here is these prices are outrageous and you know don't do that even if you really want to open hidden fates uh, put your email on that game nerd site and wait eventually we'll see some stuff on the Walmart and Target I think all right, so that was basically Hidden Fates. Uh, very interesting stuff. And yeah, maybe now it's time to sell the Charizard if you want to. Uh, from the last video, you know, a lot of people comment like, oh, this will kill the prices. Um, again, maybe now is the time to sell because while that will definitely add a lot of stuff into the supply, for whatever reason, the price has gone up and there's more coming. So, you know, do with that what you will. Uh, there was an interesting video from SM Pratt where it was like, not exactly on this topic. It was more about uh, the Typhlosion first edition from the Neo era and you know one of his point was about like what is the discretionary income of an average household but you know with everything going on in the world you know with the stimulus checks going out and stuff like that no one can really go out to eat you know maybe a lot of the things that you would use your discretionary uh, income on is simply not available and maybe that's why people are you know purchasing more cars to open something to do that's the only thing I can think of, but obviously this won't be a permanent state and we'll eventually get out of this. So maybe this is kind of like a bubble that is going to pop soon. And I think that's all we're going to have to say about Hidden Fates. But all right, let's go on to a different topic, which was the Limitless Online Tournament that's going on every weekend. And first off, this is just a really cool event. Huge shout out to Limitless TCG. And uh, so these are the decks. So we have a bunch of ADPs, ADPZs, a Rishi's Art, and then a bunch of mill decks. So we're basically gonna go through the staples and figure out what the prices are for them. Uh, so first we're gonna look at the, uh, basically the non-mill decks and count how many Dedenes and Jirachis there are in this. Okay, so the top list, three Jirachi, two Dedene, and then the Spirit Tomb, four Jirachi, uh, one Dedene. And then we have two and two and four and three. So tons of those. Interesting to note that all of them have Zacian in it, but we'll get to Zacian later. And so let's take a look at Cosmic Eclipse on TCG player. ADPs, I'm not sure like if just a lot of ADPs are cracked open, but or actually, so this is where things get kind of confusing because these are IRL cards and we're trying to derive some you know assumptions from a online tournament. And obviously there's no online events, so I would think that the prices will go down because people don't need them right away and then once things open back up maybe the prices will rise. Uh, I, I feel like this will be an interesting thing coming out of, you know, as we get back to our normal lives, how the prices will kind of react. But you know, very various forms of ADP to low 20s and then the if you just want the cheapest version, we have those guys going current oh currently at wait a minute. All right, not sure what just happened there, but yeah, under $10 for an ADP. So if we think that, you know, this archetype is going to remain at the top, maybe is now a good time to pick them up. Uh, let's see, Dedene. All right, so Dedene is an interesting one. Uh, obviously, it's used in so many decks. We'll just take a look at the baby version or the uh, base rarity and still going, whoa, that is really cheap. Uh, a handful of them basically in $10 range and then we jump up to 20 so here's the thing about this one there is a new product called the trainers toolkit that will feature two of them it won't be out for quite a while June 22nd uh, this one is still available on game nerds for a pretty good price I'll uh, link down below but I think that this is going to be the next battle arena deck where actually I think I have that in the next tab so let's just take a quick look at Jirachi this uh, let's look for the all right so this is the version that came from the ultra battle arena ultra necrozma deck and it came with two of them and I think this deck thing MSRP for $20 and each one of these on DCG player can be bought for $20 or yeah $20 
uh, under twenty dollars with shipping, whatever. But I think that this is going to be the next version of that. It's actually not going to be the new whatever they call it. Actually, those actually don't those feel very underwhelming. And the only thing that could have saved it was probably the Dene. But since it's in the trainer's toolkit, I think we can safely assume that this is going to be that next product as opposed to whatever those decks are called. And if we kind of take a look at those on the secondary market, these are sold listings on eBay. Again, MSRP for $20. And it's basically doubled open price plus some. Uh, occasionally we have some high 20s, a 40 here, but it seems like a majority of them are around $50 for this product for Jirachi, which is going to rotate soon. I think that's the craziest part. So again, the Dedene Jirachi is very common in any of those non-mill decks. And then Zacian, which is present in every single one. Let's take a look at Sword and Shield, uh, Gold Zacian, basically mid 40s. That's kind of like where it was for a while. But we'll take a look at the base rarity Zacian. Uh, low teens for pick up Zacians. This one is, each one kind of has its own story. So yeah, Jirachi is going to be gone soon, at least. Or no, not going to be gone. I'm sorry. Uh, but. Uh, Maybe won't be as strong with the skateboard going away. And, uh, but then Zacian be here for a while, but also has the tins that are coming out in mid May. Uh, you know, so there'll be a bunch more of those in the market. And if you do need Zacians, I think it'll continue to go down uh, at some point when those release as well. One thing that was basically a four of in every single deck and probably all formats for a while is Quick Ball. And I think rightly so, this guy is pretty expensive, $30 a pop. One interesting thing I'll just throw out there about Quick Ball, if you ever want to swag out Quick Balls, is that there are different levels of it. Uh, you have your basic form, but then there are, so we just did a quick search for Quick Ball on uh, TCG Player. You got your gold, and then you have the staff promo, the league promo, and then the base one, which is about like 50 cents right now. But this was a four of in everything. And then last thing for Sword and Shield, that I think is in my opinion, I'll probably try to pick up just a little playset of them. Is Metal Saucer for 10. You know, is Zacian is so strong again, it was basically in every single list. And this is obviously a staple for any kind of, or at least for when Zacian is attacking. Actually, those mill decks, this doesn't really count for. I take that back. But, uh, you know, basically around $10 for these. Uh, so maybe worth to pick up just a playset. Um, wouldn't really recommend anything else but all right that's going to be it for this episode again hopefully i can put more of these out more more of these episodes more frequently and it won't hopefully won't be as long but uh yeah let me know what your thoughts are especially around the charts i find that very interesting um maybe there's a short window where we if you do want to sell you can capitalize on that 300 dollars price tag up 50 percent from like what two months ago and um yeah, before the next print wave of tins kind of offsets that and stuff like that. So if you have any thoughts, let me know or any suggestions on topics for future episodes. I do want to get back to some vintage stuff, but things have been, I don't know, I don't really know. I can't really derive any assumptions or anything based on what I'm seeing as far as prices sold. It kind of seems status quo, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's thanks for watching. I'm Juan Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.